I told you guys, we're doing rapid fire today. Hello, fun friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Savannah. On the channel, I talk about the fun side of minimalism, which for me just means keeping minimalism, decluttering, organization, super light and happy and not this stressful, overwhelming thing. And when it comes to kids' toys, kids' clothes, things can get out of hand. Man, this dresser is looking crazy. In today's strategy, I'm gonna talk you through, walk you through my process, but I'm essentially doing a rapid fire spark joy. Marie Kondo's my girl, and I like to just trust my own gut, my own intuition when it comes to these decisions. So that's that. Let's let's dive in. I'm gonna dump out everything out of this dresser and closet. Let's do it. Are down at the trenches you guys all of my son's clothes is here on the floor this is the Marie Kondo method pulling everything out waking it up and feeling in our hands if it actually sparks joy so let's get into it I'm gonna start by pulling out my all-star roster so for me these are all of the favorites that we reach for every day if they're clean we're wearing them for me those are items that are typically really great quality super comfortable super versatile they can be worn as a cute outfit they can be used for a nap and then all of my favorites my husband's favorites and my son's favorites just those extra cute items that we all happen to love so let's pull those out first and that will give me an idea of what we're working with for the rest of the wardrobe All right, I've got my all-star lineup. I thought I would share a few things with you guys. We have one full sweatsuit, onesie, Carhartt, really cute, really easy. I love bamboo jammies. We got these orange and green ones. I bought them secondhand, they're Kite Baby. They're incredible. And then these are the jammies my son loves. He just is super excited about trucks. We've got fire trucks, dinosaurs on a skateboard, monster trucks. It looks like I'm gravitating towards just kind of black and charcoal shirts. I mean, light colored things stain so easily. So these are really the only ones that have lasted. For pants, I really like soft pants. I'm not a big jeans person on kids or stiff pants. And so I have a lot of sweat. So we've got these kind of old school Lion King sweatpants. Then I have these kind of like faux denim joggers. You got the rest of your life to wear stiff pants so that's my thoughts on that and then outerwear these are our staples this sweater this is kind of the cool statement sweater if we have something nice to go to we've got a puffer vest and then we've got two sherpa jackets i like the look of a sherpa i think it's really cute on a little kid they look like a little teddy bear so that is my all-star lineup it's actually really good for me to see all of the favorites what we actually wear i'm not seeing a lot of button downs i'm not seeing a lot of jeans so let's dig into the rest of the pile we're gonna keep doing spark joy and i'm gonna go by category like pants shirts sweaters etc that way I can see if I have duplicates. Let's do it. Let's start with pants. I'm gonna do spark joy. These little black pants, these are too small, so they're not sparking joy for me. Again, love these little ones, but too small, so these are gonna be a bye-bye. I'm gonna keep a pile for a giveaway to close friends because I do love a lot of these items. Next, we've got these little camo cargo pants. They are so fun and cool, with like a plain t-shirt, very hip, very stylish. Just got these for 99 cents. I'm gonna hold on to those. Next, I have this pair of red pants. These were a gift from a friend. I think they're really cool, kind of like preppy Americana. We wore them over Memorial Day. I'm gonna hold on to the red pants because they're still a little bit big. Next, we have these kind of athletic jogger pants. Honestly, they're not my favorite, but I think my husband likes them. So I'm gonna put them in the husband pile and if my husband wants to keep them we'll keep them otherwise I'm gonna say la vie to those next I have these little navy sweatpants they're really worn out they're too small brand new Snoopy jogger sweatpants we actually haven't worn these yet so I'm gonna put them in a two grow into pile then I have another pair or two of two grow into jeans and these jeans have been in my son's drawer it just makes it hard 
harder for me to find what I'm looking for. So I think if I set them aside, then that works for me. These are on the fritz of being too small, but the other ones are way too big. So these are gonna go pretty soon, probably in the next couple weeks, but for now we're gonna keep. So I'm holding on to these three pairs of like jean type pants. Then I have those two jogger sweatpants. Let's do shorts next. I'm not a big shorts person with my kid. He falls down like a million times a day. So I feel like he's just going to skin his knees. And so we have five pairs of shorts. I really don't need this mini. I would say my favorite pair is this pair that I picked out. I thrifted them. They're Zara and they're so stinking cute. I like the pockets. I like a little boho baby look. We don't have to do the sporty skater boy thing all the time. And then the other pair I really like, my sister-in-law just got these. I like the drawstring on them. I think they're just Target shorts, so I'm gonna hold on to those. I have three pairs of soft shorts, but I think I only really wanna keep one, and I think I like these ones the best. So I'm gonna hold on to these, and I'm gonna let go of these two pair. They are brand new, they're great, but they don't fit my son right now. They're not gonna fit this summer, and so I'm gonna let them go to someone who will use them. So we've got the bottoms done. Let's move on to tops. We have like a trillion t-shirts. This is cute. I added this patch onto this little Janie and Jack shirt that I thrifted to go to Disneyland. It's nice. I just don't think the color is flattering on my son, which is kind of weird to say, but it just, it's not his color. Next, I have this Mickey Mouse motorcycle shirt. This is fun. He's worn this for a very long time, but it's just a bit too small. So I'm going to put this in the husband pile in case he wants to save it for a future kid, but I'm good just letting go of that. Next, we have this little tie-dye skateboard shirt. I thought the coloring would look cute on my son, but it's kind of <laughs> washing him out. It's not my favorite. It was really inexpensive. So I'm going to pass this skateboard shirt on. I told you guys, we're doing rapid fire today. I don't got time for all this. Next, I have this really fun kind of <laughs> striped shirt. My mother-in-law got this for us. We wore it when we went to Disney and then for Valentine's Day, but it's too small now. So I'm gonna pass this shirt on. And this is another one, Monster Trucks. This was a favorite of my son, but it's too small now. So I'm gonna let it go and it's really, really worn. My husband has been wanting to get my son something Ninja Turtles for a long time and he just picked this up. It's not the favorite t-shirt of mine, but I think it'll look cooler once it's washed. This is another new one my mother-in-law just sent. My son loves dinosaurs. I like a repetitive print more than just a huge character, so I think this is pretty cute. And then this is the best fun party shirt. It's like kind of a kid's Hawaiian shirt. So this will be kind of like the barbecue, party down, summer shirt. Okay, this is a belly shirt on him. Goodbye. You know what? I actually bought this for someone else and then I forgot to gift it. It still has the tag. It's a 3T. It's not gonna fit my son for a while and we're living out of Airbnb, so I'm gonna pass that on to someone else. This little swim shirt. It's kind of dorky. See you soon. Wouldn't be my first pick, but I really needed one in a pinch. This one was like 50 cents at the thrift store. So I'm going to hold on to that for summer swimming. Next, I have this sweatshirt. This was from our friends, May and Todd. This is my husband's fave. That is the tops. Let's do a jammies. So for jammies, I already pulled out five pairs over there. Then I have these pajamas left. And I thrifted, I think, two out of the three pairs. This is the brand Primary. It's really nice, but I don't like red on, <laughs> on my son. And so I'm gonna let these go and re-gift those. They're great quality. Next, I have this kind of honey yellow pair. And I do reach for them. They're just not as soft as I would hope. And he has other stuff that he can wear instead of this. This is his last zipper onesie. I mean, I can definitely buy more zipper onesies, but all of a sudden we've graduated to two pieces. What the heck? This is the brand Kokoli. This is the best quality and we have worn the crap out of this one. So definitely going to re-gift this to someone I really like. That is pajamas. Let's move on to outerwear. We're cruising, we're grooving. Hopefully you're cruising and grooving with your clothes too. You've got this. I know it's not that fun, but when you're done and you'll be getting your kid ready to go much faster and they'll be looking even cuter. Outerwear, why do I have so much? Because it's cute. <laughs> okay, first off is this snowsuit. I got it on a deal on Poshmark. I bought it extra big. It will fit next winter. This is a keep. Woo! Okay, these next two, technically not outerwear. These shirts. Why did I think we were doing a family photo shoot like in the Hamptons on the beach? I mean, come on. This isn't very realistic. It's so cute on, but I think it's just not fair to make a kid wear linen. Same with this little button down. It has a really cool little print. This was a gift from a friend, a hand-me-down. It's really cute. We just don't reach for things like this. The little reggae skater surfer shirt. It's just old navy. I thrifted it, but I actually wear this all the time. I like to tuck it under sweaters and have the collar pop. Little hipster baby. Same thing with this vest. This was a hand-me-down from a friend. It's really cute. We just wear our other vests more. Moving on. Okay, this thing is really convenient for the 
the winter. It's a jacket, but it's like a poncho blanket. It's so handy. I bought it secondhand called the Widgeon or Widgeon. It's this British brand. I think they sell them at like Neiman Marcus and I got mine used. It's it's fantastic. So anyway, I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm hoping it fits this fall. Next, we've got this little sweater. It's a little Freddy Krueger, I'm not gonna lie, but it's really cute on. It has these kind of adventure patches. I thrifted it, it's Zara. It's really pilly. It kind of has become a belly shirt. So it's time to say goodbye to this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we have this book called Goggles. You guys probably don't care. It's about a bear who flies airplanes. My son is literally obsessed and I found this little sweater. It's from the 90s on Poshmark. The only thing is that this is polyester, so it's not that breathable, but keeps you warm on a cold day. And then last but not least is the matching sweatshirt for the Snoopy outfit. This is to grow into, so I'm gonna set that aside. And now, last but not least, we are going to do accessories. Mostly it's hats. Let's let's round up these hats. Beanies, I think we have four. Why would a toddler need four beanies? We do wear beanies a lot, but this is my favorite one. It's navy, it's from this company my friend works for out of Napa, Maker Wines, and so I, I like that one. This one, not a favorite of mine, I think I bought on Amazon and it's just, I always regret every Amazon purchase. So I, I really don't shop there a lot, only when I'm pretty desperate. We had zero beanies and now all of a sudden we have four. This gray one I meant to give as a gift with that gray shirt. I'm gonna pass this on. This one, this is actually my husband's Filson beanie. I think it just got mixed up in our stuff in here. So I'm gonna put this back. We have a couple little Dodger hats. My husband's a Dodgers fan, but I think these are both too small on my son's head. So I'm gonna put these over at my, my husband's pile in case he wants to save those, but I'm really just good at letting everything go. And this funny little Patagonia bucket hat. This was a gift from our friends Bob and Veronica. It has these matching trunks. I really love them. They still fit. These are the trunks of the summer. And then last but not least, we have these mittens, Lego collab with Target. They still fit. You know what? I'm actually gonna hold on to these, save them for next winter. I usually don't like to be a storer, a hoarder, but honestly, these are fantastic mittens and they are super cool and retro looking. So that's everything. Well, you know what? Everything but socks. Do you want to see the socks? Why not? Actually, I'm gonna get low. Round up the socks down here. Oh uh, yeah. My socks. Usually I have them folded right side out, stuck together, but things have been crazy, so they are a mess. But my sock story is I was at the store and I was desperate for more socks because my son's socks are disappearing and I saw this pack with the little foot grippies on the bottom. But when I brought the socks home and opened up the pack, none of the other socks had foot grippies. It was such a little sneaky fake out. So these socks, the ones that don't have grippers, I'm going to be decluttering them all. <laughs> I said that so dramatically. Um, I'm going to be decluttering them all because when my son wears them in the house, he just slides and falls. So that's not safe in the slightest. And then I have like four other pairs of white socks with grippers. Actually, if you guys have any toddler socks recommendations on the more affordable side that have grippies and are great quality, please comment below. I need need help there. You know what? I actually have a second final thing to declutter. I saved all of these burp rags, muslin rags. I was phasing them out over time. I used to have like 50, then 20, then 10. Now I have like five. I also saved this bed sheet, but we're just using the beds and the Airbnbs. I just, I have not reached for these a single time since we started the trip. I just use the dish towels they have. For me, it's much more practical and utilitarian just to use the regular towels. I don't think you need special baby towels, maybe for a newborn with really delicate skin. But by this age, my son can handle a regular towel. So I'm gonna let these go as well. Boom. Okay, let's organize what we're keeping. I like to put things into shoe boxes or these little Ikea cubes so I can see everything standing vertical. That's also a Marie Kondo tactic method of folding. And ever since I've adopted it, I totally stand by it. Let's do that. Cue the organization beautifying montage.
that is a wrap you guys on this baby toddler declutter hopefully you enjoyed it maybe you picked up some tips maybe you just needed a friend a companion to hang out with while you were decluttering yourself and if you're into decluttering content and you're here for the first time subscribe and check out my other decluttering videos i have a ton of closet declutters of my own with keeping a minimalist wardrobe and i think i have one other baby declutter video when i was first on youtube about one year ago you guys it's my one year on youtube woo subscribe love you like the video i think that about covers it i'll catch you guys in my video next week have a very fun day bye